G'day team, my name is Dr. Sandro DeMeo. I'm the CEO of Vic Health. Well, I'm in Victoria, uh, Melbourne on Wurundjeri land today. Uh, and just like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land that I'm on. Uh, the Wurundjeri people, the Kulin Nation, their elders past, present and emerging. It's fantastic to have you joining me here today. I would love to be uh, either at work or maybe somewhere outside. Of course, we're in lockdown here in Victoria uh, and I'm at home in Northcote. But um, it's, it's a real pleasure still to be able to join you and to talk about the importance of taking care of yourselves as clinicians uh, so that you can best take care of your patients and your communities. So I'm gonna cook two really delicious things for you today. Very simple Italian uh, inspired recipes, great for going into spring and summer. We're gonna cook some, uh, a simple uh, gnocchi uh, with um, a ratatouille sauce. So lots of vegetables. We've got uh, capsicum, onion, fresh chilies. Uh, we've got some zucchini. Um, and we've got some beautiful gnoc homemade gnocchi. You can also just use like a normal pasta though, um, store-bought pasta. Uh, and of course, some good quality uh, olive oil, uh, some pepper, salt, and then either some oregano or some basil if you want to add it as well. Um, I'm also going to serve that though with a really simple caprese salad. And so what I'm going to do is I've scoured uh, my local grocer, a wonderful uh, organic grocer near me, and found some beautiful heirloom tomatoes, which will probably be coming from the north of Australia at the moment because it's not tomato season in Melbourne, but some tomatoes of different shapes and colours, uh, some beautiful Australian um, uh, mozzarella, really, really delicious cheese. It's uh, high in protein, uh, low fat, um, and most of all, it's just really delicious. Uh, some black olives, which I will take the pits out of. And because basil's not in season at the moment, I've got some beautiful, um, really high quality pesto. Now I would recommend buying something, you know, spend a couple of extra dollars. It's about nine bucks a bottle. It is an investment though, whether it's this brand or another, just buy good quality pesto. Look for things that don't have vinegar or lemon in them, um, that don't have lots of preservatives or lots of ingredients. Um, and, and they'll be, you know, really is the kind of flavor of the dish. So I'm gonna grab a sharp knife to start with. Um, and what I'll do to begin is um, chop up the vegetables. We're gonna, we're gonna saute, sort of slowly cook in a heavy pot uh, the onions and uh, all of these veggies. So we just wanna kind of chop these onions up. The onions will add some beautiful um, sweetness to the dish. So the onions, with, onions will go into the pot and some olive oil and some salt. Um, I've got a nice heavy, heavy dish here. So um, onions, everything can go in together. So onions chopped up into there uh, with a good uh, dollop of olive oil, a good um, helping of olive oil, just to, you know, it's the, it's the only fat that you're gonna have in this recipe. And then same thing, you don't need to be precious about it, just, chopping up the veggies nice and rough. Um, you know, they're gonna cook down quite considerably, so the capsicums can go in, the zucchini can go in, so giving that a wash already. Um, wanting to cut it all into nice chunky pieces because it's the chunkiness that will really go nicely with the pasta, the gnocchi or the pasta. And then um, some chili. Now, if you're not sure if it's a chili or a capsicum, before you add the whole thing, just kind of touch it on the end of your tongue. You know, it's got a little bit of heat, but it's not a huge amount. I love, I love chili. So all your veggies are in there. Uh, I'm gonna pop that onto the stove and I'm gonna slowly cook it really low heat for about 20 minutes until it all starts to caramelize. And then we're gonna pop a can of tomatoes or some passata or even some fresh chopped tomatoes in there and cook it for about another 20 minutes. So we'll get that onto the stove now. At the same time, ready for the um, veggies, uh, ready for the pasta. I've got a big pot of water on the stove 
little bit of salt, uh, particularly if you're using gnocchi, don't add too much salt. If you're using store, uh, like dry pasta, normal pasta, the salt lowers the boiling temperature of the water. And so it means when you put the pasta in and the temperature of the water drops, it boils more quickly. It means that it, the, the pasta won't stick as easily. It also adds obviously flavor because the salt goes into the heart of the pasta and adds some more flavor to the pasta. So you're probably talking about a tablespoon of, of into a big pot of water if it's uh, dry pasta. For gnocchi, you're really just talking about sort of half half to a teaspoon of, of, um, of uh, salt. Now, next we're gonna get the salad going. Oh, the sauce is now starting to cook. Um, so I just got a nice dish here, nothing particularly fancy, um, but we want, to be, we want this to look nice. So um, what I'm gonna start with is to get my different uh, tomatoes out. I've already given these a wash uh, yesterday. And I've also got them out a little bit early from the fridge so that they're room temperature. Because the last thing you want to do is serve a, um, a salad and for it to be freezing cold. You know, just it's, you don't get the, first of all, it's not very enjoyable, but also um, you actually don't get all the flavors. It does, things aren't as flavorful. Isn't that amazing? It's a little square, I think a Russian red tomato. So. I'm just chopping each of those into, into three sort of cross sections. They are all different shapes and sizes. That's what you want. You don't want the same uniform approach, A, because that's not how tomatoes are, but also because uh, it's gonna give it a beautiful look on the plate. Um, alrighty. So now what we're going to do is get our plate and it's a simple, uh, well actually what I'll do first is just get my mozzarella out. We'll probably use about half of this beautiful fresh mozzarella. So the mozzarella stays fresh in the water. Um, so you're just getting the, the mozzarella out. Again, chop that up into nice pieces. You can also just tear it, but I like it in big chunks. All right, and now we're ready to assemble our, our salad. So just put the different colors of tomatoes, mix them all up. You don't want, don't want them all together. You don't want them all uniform. You want to see the beautiful different colors uh, on the dish. Then as you can start to do a second layer. And so what you end up with is this beautiful beautiful range of uh, colors across. I'm now gonna pop my mozzarella on top and then I've got some black olives, which I'm just going to pit and I'm just putting the, you know, so if you had green olives or if you had um, store-bought, you know, um, black or green olives, it doesn't really matter. If they're, if they're firm and they've already had the, the pips taken out, totally fine too, just chop them up or even um, put them on whole. You're just looking for a nice visual effect and um, the olives, what they bring is just a saltiness, a, a salty fermented flavor to the dish. Uh, you can get that from also from um, capers is another great way. Now, what you end up with is uh, this beautiful looking um, salad well, that I've just ruined by trying to show you um, this beautiful looking salad and so what I will do is put that aside now and later we're going to put some beautiful fresh dollops of fresh pesto uh, on top just before uh, we serve it if we had fresh basil I'd also put a few leaves of fresh basil on top or even fresh basil in, in, instead of the pesto so the pasta sauce is now starting to saute on the stove. It's starting to sweat and caramelize. The water is boiling. We're gonna move across and check out what's going on there. All right, so things are cooking well. Um, what we've got now is the sauce is about 20 minutes or so cooking. And the, so the uh, veggies are all starting to caramelize beautifully. So you just, want, you just want to kind of, the salt, you put a little bit of salt with the olive oil, it'll start to draw out the moisture. I can't see anything. 
you start to draw out the moisture from the veggies, which means that you kind of saute them in the olive oil and sweat them rather than, um, you know, fry them or, or even worse, burn them. And what, what happens then is you get all these beautiful sweet flavours which will coat the pasta and give it that beautiful kind of summer sweetness. So now that that's pretty much done, the water's almost boiling, I'm going to grab out my passata, it's not actually in there. Um, just got some fairly straightforward passata. Uh, this is an organic one um, and, you know, but, but it doesn't need to be. Uh, just find something that doesn't have sugar or, uh, or any um, salt added. This is just tomatoes and a bit of citric acid, which is just the natural preservative. So I'm going to now add that to the pot. Um, probably about, you know, two thirds of a bottle. We don't need too much. And at the same time, about a cup of water. And then the trick is that you always uh, continue to um, season as you go along. So a little bit, little touch more salt. And if I had fresh oregano, I'd use fresh oregano, but this is beautiful dried oregano from our garden. So just a little pinch of that. You could also put basil, um, you know, both really wonderful summer herbs. Lid's gonna go back on and I will cook that for about another 20 minutes. Once the water boils, cause gnocchi only take just a few minutes to cook. Once uh, the water boils, I will pop, uh, I will make sure that the pasta sauce is probably cooked for about another 10 or 15 minutes. The vegetables, you just want them soft. They don't need to be super sloppy. Uh, and then there'll be, there'll be a little bit of kind of bite to the sauce that will go beautifully uh, with the gnocchi. So once the water's boiling, gnocchi go in for the time that it says on the packet, it's usually just a couple of minutes. If it's, fre if it's uh, dry pasta, probably about 10, 10 minutes. Once that's cooked, the gnocchi go straight from the water into the sauce, mix it up in the pot, cook it for about another 30 seconds in the sauce. So it coats and really kind of becomes one. And then we'll show you and we'll serve it up uh, all together in a second. Well, and that my friends is uh, your lunch. So we've got a beautiful uh, gnocchi with veggies, uh, lots of veggies and uh, a delicious caprese salad. So, I'm going to get on and eat this, but I just want to say, look, um, you know, you guys are such champions. Frontline healthcare workers across Australia have and will continue to get us through this pandemic. And I just want to say what a privilege it is to be able to contribute and support you guys in this very small way. Um, you're an inspiration and I don't use that lightly. Uh, you guys should all, you know, do everything you can to support yourselves and each other, knowing that Victorians and Australians uh, and Queenslanders uh, all have your backs. For now, though, what I want to talk.